Hey guys, how's it going? It's Blaze Slicer here and welcome to the origin of Koro Sensei. Alright, so pretty much I decided to add some anime to the mix of all this comic book stuff. So now you guys are going to be learning a lot more about anime characters as well. So it like, you know, fits for both anime and comic book fans. So um, when I do this Koro Sensei thing, so first I'm going to introduce the anime and all that stuff and then I'm going to introduce the character and all this stuff and the first little part of it is going to be all spoiler free for anyone who starts to get interested and wants to watch the anime and then I'm going to give huge warnings when all the crazy crazy spoilers come in because you know I don't want you guys getting mad at me or something so the this the name of the anime is assassination classroom all right so we're gonna start off with the backstory right now so um one day a new teacher is introduced to class e at a junior high school um it's a really long name <laughs> so i'm gonna just say it one time so it's kunugi gaoka junior high school <laughs> so um the teacher is a round-headed octopus creature before he introduced himself to his new class, he managed to carve out a large chunk of the moon to become a permanent crescent moon. In a year, he plots to destroy the earth, but decides to teach a junior high school class in the meantime for an unknown reason. With this strange creature having effectively taken over the world, the government reluctantly complies with his request on the condition that he does not harm the students. These same students greet him every day with assassination attempts in their journey to save the world by eventually murdering their own teacher and to earn 10 billion yen from the government. Alright, so then now I'll explain a little bit about Korosity. So, class 3 is giant yellow octopus looking homeroom teacher and the one who destroyed, well he is the one who destroyed 70% of the moon. Koro Sensei is a near invincible creature with the maximum speed of Mach 20. Despite the fact that he plans to blow up the earth in March of next year, he is still he's still undoubtedly an incredible teacher who cares very much for his students. Okay. So this is when the spoiler section comes in. <laughs> Alright? Anyone who wants to watch this anime all of a sudden? All right, don't don't continue. I'm gonna give you some time. Leave this video, okay? All right, I think that's all right. So for you guys who are all cool with spoilers or whatever, I'm gonna give you a pretty deep um, backstory about Koro Sensei. All right, so Koro Sensei was originally born on Earth as a human. His original home is described as the worst of slums. Koro Sensei grew up in extreme poverty and witnessed many traumatic events from a young age, including murder, parental neglect, crooked police activity, and etc. Growing up in this environment of constant betrayal, Koro Sensei developed a twisted personal philosophy that the only truth in the world was that people die when they are killed. In pursuit of this philosophy, he took on the life of an assassin. And using his incredible charisma, he was able to easily earn the trust of everyone around him, performing his skills undetected. Kurosente was so prolific, his work was actually responsible for ending wars through the mass murder of world leaders. Over the years, he was known to the underworld as the God of Death, um, becoming the most feared assassin in the world. Two years before what happened in the assassination classroom, Koro Sensei was betrayed by his student, who is a person who later became the god of death himself. Um, well, the new one. And so the student betrayed him, and Koro Sensei was detained in a research facility with, which studied artificial tentacles for use as a graftable bioweapon. During this time, he befriended Agura Yukimura, a junior high school teacher who worked at the facility by night, believing that she would be his ticket to escape. 
At some point, an unknown event destroyed the facility and killed Yukimura, who encouraged Koro-sensei to become a teacher with her dying breath. After fleeing the wreckage, Koro-sensei was involved in the destruction of over 70% of the moon, rendering it into a permanent crescent shape. Having demonstrated to the leaders of the world his capacity for destruction, Kurosensei announced his intentions to conquer and destroy the earth by March of the next year. After meeting with the world's leaders, Kurosensei brokers a deal. Um, in exchange for being allowed to serve as a homeroom teacher for the junior high school's class 3E, in exchange, Kurosensei agreed to never harm the students and even allow them opportunities to kill him over the course of the school year. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about Koro Sensei's abilities. And I'm going to, the main topics are going to be durability, speed, offensive power, intelligence, and weaknesses. So, Koro Sensei is usually not affected, well, he isn't affected at all by normal bullets or by any chemicals or poisons and stuff. Um, he's only been shown to be affected by anti-sensei material um, and his skin is very weak to it. Um, and pretty much he cannot come in any contact with that material and it's very deadly. So even though it doesn't hurt humans. So um, he also has shown that he has a huge trump card in which he turns into like a ball and pretty much he's completely invincible and he even said that a nuke couldn't even scratch him and he also has incredibly high speed regeneration and he can pretty much heal any wound extremely quickly even though it's rumored that if you shot his heart with the anti-sensei material it would immediately kill him all right, so when it comes to speed, um, he's so fast he could create a gigantic tornado from just his speed and a whirlpool. All right, so what's funny is the fact that um, he himself says that his max speed is Mach 20, and a lot of other characters say it as well, but he has been shown to create over 26 duplicates at one time, which is past the speed of Mach 20. Alright, so he can also fly and it's assumed that his combat speed is roughly the same as his travel speed. And um, he is he's also not protected um, by any type of speed force. So if he runs into things really fast um, he can only be protected by his own durability. And if he was to grab someone at mock speed, they would most likely be hurt. Um, and the uh, only reason he is unaffected by any wind resistance is due to the mucus surrounding his body. Despite his goofy personality, Coral Sensei is actually a genius. At least I would say so myself. Um, so he made 985 modifications to a multi-billion dollar killing machine so um, pretty much it went from basically a box with a face and crappy animations to a full body projection with upgraded artificial intelligence making it more human and the modifications he made were not completely aesthetics and all the art including the LCD screen it is projected on was homemade by Sensei for less than $1,000. Alright so random things to know I guess. So he can camouflage himself due to color shifting abilities. He also has an, a great sense of smell. And he also molts once a month to escape his bonds. And um, it is it's been shown that he has his skin has some fire and explosion explosion resistance alright so other than anti-sensei material um, his other weaknesses he has 36 of them and they're noted by the main character so I'm gonna say them now in order so number one when he tries to act cool his weaknesses show number two he is surprisingly quick to panic 
Number three, he is petty. Number four, his punches are weak. Later revealed he has a lack of physical strength in general. Number five is breasts. Number six is he is humble and subservient to his supervisors. Number seven, he has no patience of wire puzzles. Number eight, he gets motion sickness. Number nine, he can't sleep on a pillow other than his own. Number ten, he worries about appearances. Number eleven, he can't handle hot food. Number twelve, um, getting wet because his body absorbs water and becomes sluggish. Number thirteen, he loves juicy gossip. <laughs> Number fourteen, um, hackneyed um, plot developments make him cry. So fifteen. He gets taken in by rumors. 16. Um, time right after molding. So like the time right after molding. Yeah. Is when he's weak. So the time right after regeneration is also when he's weak for number 17. So 18. His body goes rigid when bathed in a special beam of light. 19. When he returns to normal after a serious situation he gets embarrassed. Number 20. He can only draw simple pictures. Number 21, heat fatigue. 22, he's strict about poolside banner. 23, he can't swim because when he fully immerses in water, Coral Center becomes so bloated he is rendered immobile. 24, he likes to gossip. 25, he is weak against the occult. 26, if he can't gather people, he feels worthless. 27, he has tone deafness. 28, he sucks at hiding. 29. Gets carried away by official positions. 30. His heart. So, um, Kurosensei has a core underneath his moon emblazoned necktie to which his tentacles are anchored, which, if damaged, can cause his death. 31. Not related, but acts like a doting parent. Um, 32. Gets insurance to avoid getting hurt. 33. He doesn't really know what your own football means. 34. He sucks at reporting. 35. He suffers from road rage. And 36. Grabbing all his tentacles at once make him unable to move. Alright, so that's about all I have for today on Coral Sensei. I hope you guys enjoyed. I gave you guys, I believe, a lot of information on him. Alright, so... There's still a bunch of video left for you guys to watch of me just, I guess, beating the crap out of people. It's, and just so you know, it's just me playing as Coral Sensei, fighting two people at once. But I'm pretty sure you've seen it. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.
Thank <laughs> you.